What's percolating YouTube? It's your boy Bath Superstar. We back with another video. Now in this video, I'm gonna be talking about what I want to see in NBA 2K20. So um before you leave the video, leave a like. Comment down below if you agree or disagree with anything I say. Share the video. Tell a friend. Tell another friend. Tell another friend to subscribe. We on the road to 1K. And let's get right into it. Now, let me start off by saying that this is not in no particular order. Uh, this is just what I wish we can see in 2K20. So, um, yeah. So, enjoy these highlights from 2K19. And let's get into it. So, First off, we need to change something. Well, not we, but they need to fix the archetype system. I don't know. Like, you have an archetype system in the game because you don't want people to be like LeBron and KD and all these superstars in the NBA. Y'all want everybody to have a role on, on a team, which I understand that. For a 2K league or whatever the purpose is, I understand that. But don't limit us to an archetype and then let people do things that's not part of the archetype like i'm tired of going to the park and playing against pure sharpshooters i'm not i'm not just talking about against me like i'm guarding them and they guarded me i'm talking about my teammates too like i don't want to see a pure sharpshooter getting getting four blocks on our first four layups of the game like that that does not make sense either take the archetypes out Give us triple archetypes or quadruple archetypes. Cause that's really what's in the game now. Anyway, if you look at the stats, because my build, well, the build, my my main build that I'm using now, it wasn't my first build. Um, is a two-way shot creator. Now, I really care to make shot creator shots. Maybe that's just me. I mean, I make them more times than none. But I'm just saying. And then I can play defense. I got the slashing badges. And I got some shooting badges. So, I mean, I'm not a sharpshooter by any means necessary. Like, my build is basically a slasher more than more than anything else. I get more dunks than, than I do anything else. I get more dunks than I get steals. I get more dunks than I get shot creating shots. So, um, I mean, only thing I wish is I could dribble more. But I guess if I would have made a shooting guard, I would be able to. Like, I can't even get the pro dribble moves until like a 94, I think. And right now I'm a 92. I'm on the second bar to uh, 93. Um, I'm pretty sure that's my fault because I made my build a little too heavy. I probably made my arms too long. I think I'm 6'9", uh, 230. And I think my arm span is like one of, one of the Draymond Green lengths. So, um, but yeah. Like I said, either take the archetypes or stick to the specific archetype. Like, if you're a glass cleaner, why do you have post moves? Like, your sole purpose is to get boards. Like, I don't care if they strength and box out and rebound is 99. That's fine. But don't give them post moves. Like, don't do that. And make it to where Bills can't get to 99. Or just take 99 out. Like, I just, I don't understand. Because... Like I said before, if you're a pure sharpshooter, that's all you should be able to do. You're not a playmaking sharp. You ain't a sharpshooter playmaker. You're not a two-way sharpshooter. You ain't a sharpshooter defender. So I don't, I don't understand. Like I've seen pure sharpshooters get better dunk animations than than I do, which makes no sense. So just fix the archetypes. If you take pushing out, you can fix other stuff in the game. Like you need, you didn't even have to take pushing out. Y'all put it in there for, for a reason, but just make it a foul at the park or in or in the NBA game. Like if somebody pushes, make it a foul. That's how you stop pushing at the park. Another thing, we need a new neighborhood. We need more than one neighborhood. Three neighborhoods, it'll be fine. Make it like a theme. To where you to where you can like travel. I mean, I don't want to even say unlock achievements, but like have things exclusive. Excuse me. Have things exclusive to different neighborhoods, like stuff in Swags and Foot Locker, um, stuff like that, like simple stuff. I don't want to bring NBA Live into it, but uh, NBA Live offers more. Their game is just trash. I mean, 2K ain't ain't perfect, 
but um, they got different parks in different cities around the world. Uh, 2K owns um, what's that shit called? NBA um, playgrounds. They got different courts around the world. So I don't, I don't understand. Just make it, make it more, more interesting. Oh, and when we in the park, take away like the amateur three, elite three, all of that. Take away our overalls in the park. Keep the phone, keep everybody's name, but just remove everything else in the park record until we get in the game. And then if the person chooses to quit because who they're playing with, then that's fine. Encourage people to play with friends. Because in all reality, when you go to a park, you don't know who you playing with or you're playing against until you start playing the game, or unless you know them already, or you, or you played against them already. You can't go into the park and go on your phone and click on somebody's name and see how good they are, how many games they played, how many games they won, how they play. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to make the game more realistic, then do that. That means everybody has a fair chance of playing because it's 99s and Elite 3s that, that, that can't play the game because nobody want, nobody, everybody's afraid to play quote unquote good people. And the 60s and amateur ones, they can't play a game because nobody wants to play with them because they don't want to lose, mess up their record. Just find a way to where it's not, it doesn't take that long to find the game. If you want to do a matchmaking at the park, then that's fine too. Like just have it like the cages or something. Like it's, it's a neighborhood and then you and your teammates, y'all can go to like another section of the park, like, or the, or the neighborhood has like a gate or something, and then you go to the park. Like, it takes y'all into a park where like the talent level is similar, so y'all not getting your ass whooped, or y'all not whooping ass. Like, it's, it's a competitive game. It works out for everybody. If you got the rep, the, the rep system and opponent strength, then that works out for everybody because it's much more balanced. And if you don't have a crew, like have a crew only section of the park too, where only crews can play. Just don't have like one one um event like every month or something. Like have a crew event so crews they can practice against each other. So when the event comes comes around, you won't have all these bugs and stuff because it's already in the game every day. Speaking of that, the events y'all got to fix these events. Like, I'm tired of going into Gold Rush and I'm getting lagged out when the game is is almost over. Like my team is up 17 to like 13 or something or 15, and all of a sudden the whole game it just starts to lag on both sides. So I don't understand if the, if the other team is using the lag switch, why are y'all hurting y'all self to, just to try to gain an advantage when no one is gaining an advantage? Like I can't even pass the ball. I can't defend the shot. None of my buttons work. I can't do moves. I'm literally just just dribbling straight down the court. I gotta hold down X. Hopefully I get off a shot. Hopefully, hopefully I make it. All six people on the court are running out of bounds, and, and then we win the game. And as it's racking up the my points, the game crashes for everybody on the team. It ain't just me. So I just I I don't understand like the events. I love the events. I love the two times events for the people that, that can't sit home and play all day every day or they get bored of doing that every day. It's a nice, nice to go out there and get double the my points for doing stuff that you normally do on a daily basis. Another thing, like I understand the um, whole, once you get to this certain overall, you unlock things. But if we make another build and we get to that overall, the stuff should be already free since we already paid for it one time. Like, I don't wanna have to grind to a 91 and take my shirt off to get all these tattoos. And then I don't wanna use that player at that point in time. So I make another player, spend spend money to get him up to 85, grind him to 91, just like take my shirt off to buy more tattoos. Like, if I already paid for the tattoos, then let me just put them on this player. I'm not really losing no money because I'm still playing the game to get to 91. So, I mean, I don't understand. Like, 2K tries to make so much money, but they end up losing out on money, too. Because there's people that don't care. Like, it's a part of the game. And they want to spend the money to look how they want to look or do the things that, that they want to do. But it's also people that won't spend no money on the game at all. They'd rather go do a VC glitch or something for hours instead of just enjoying the game 
because the microtransactions are too damn high. It's too many of them. Like either lower the price of VC or well this year with the with the bundles and all the sales. I mean, it, it was cool. If I grind to 91 on one player, no matter how many other bills, if that build gets to that overall, I shouldn't have to buy what I already paid for it on another player. That's all I'm saying. That is all I'm saying. And then with, with the pre-order bonuses, that they only go to one player, that's stupid. It's not like, what, what are y'all losing from all my my players having the same clothes? Or the same shoes, or the same my court. Y'all not losing anything. And what happened to my court customization? This year was trash. Last year, it was it was decent. He had more options. This year, it's like nothing. So um, I I don't know. Two K, they need to do something. You you can create your own court <clears throat> in my team, but you can't do my court. You could do it. In my gym, in my league, but you can't do it in my career. On on your court, your court, the same court, the same house, the same doorman that we had for two years in a row. They just need to change it. <clears throat> Speaking on that, y'all y'all have a storyline in place, right? We we are in China, we in the G League, in these apartments. Why not let us work our way up? You know, we start off in an apartment. Our first rookie rookie contract. We we have enough money to buy a house, buy a car. Like let us have options. Just like in Madden career, how it used to be. When you first get drafted, you get like a couple options of what kind of style house you want. And then once once you start getting more money on in bigger contracts, you can upgrade your house and pick something better. Like why not have that in um in my career? Why not? We don't, we don't have to have cars yet, but let everyone's my court be be different. Like, give us different housing options. If we want an apartment, let us have an apartment. If we want a big-ass house, let us have a big-ass house. If it's in our contract and we can afford it, why not? Why not? I just, I just don't understand. Like, give people a reason to go to their my court. Give the people a reason to play my career. Or be in the neighborhood. Have more than one neighborhood. Fixed archetypes. It's the, it's the small stuff. We ain't asking for no big changes. And change the badges too. Don't nobody really use charge card? Except for a lockdown. Oh, speaking of that, every build should, every build should not be able to shoot. Like, I don't want to see a pure rim protector making threes. Or if that's the case, make it to where if you don't have shooting badges at all, or your archetype is not supposed to be able to shoot, it's impossible for you to get a green ever. I don't care if you know your jump shot, you've been using the same jump shot since 2K10. You should not be able to green a shot if you can't shoot. Like if you're locked down, your sole purpose is to play defense. You shouldn't be able to make a three. You shouldn't be able to do moving spinning jump shots you're not a shot creator slashing i i mean i guess if you want them to have some some type of offense but at the end of the day they're supposed to be playing defense i'm just saying pure sharpshooters should not be able to get a board over someone who's taller than them who rebound and stats are higher than theirs or is supposed to be at least and glass cleaners should not be able to get every board like every board, like it was literally one game. This team shot like ten more shots inside the park just because they had a glass cleaner, and, and we lost by like two points. Like, I understand y'all want team oriented. Y'all don't want everybody to be able to do everything, but at the end of the day, some people are too overpowered, and some people are underpowered. I'm a sneakerhead. So, um, Foot Locker, we all know shoes come out basically every day of the week. Most of the shoes, the same shoe that y'all have in the game, it's just a different color. So why not when the shoe comes out, put it in the game? I don't know how difficult it is to, to make shoes in the game, but y'all already have the model scanned into the game. All you really gotta do is change the color. We could go to Shoe Creator and change the color and the materials 
then why can't y'all before or even if it's just once once a week like have all just how y'all do short shorts and throwback thursdays just have all just put all the shoes that came out last week in the game on like a monday or something i don't i don't know just have like one day because y'all have the what's new section but it's the same shit for like months or we get like a note a news thing that says check out sweat or not that sweats Foot Locker for what's new and we go in there and it's the same shit from last time so I don't know cause um oh and if we create a shoe that's not in the game because y'all don't want to put it in the game um why are we paying $10,000 I mean 10000 VC like if we have a contract for that brand it should apply to all the shoes, not just the one that's already in the store. Like, if I'm getting 25% off of Foot Locker, why can I get 25% off of that? Or if I got a contract with Jordan or Nike or Adidas or Under Armour, and y'all should add Puma in next year and some other brands, um, why, when I create a shoe, and I get all NBA shoes for free. Why I can't get those shoes too? I'm just saying, like, it's the NBA shoes, so I'm wearing it in my crew, not at the park with it. If I'm at the park, then that's another story. Give it to me for whatever discount I get at Foot Locker. But I don't understand why I have to make a shoe for myself and I'm still getting charged an absurd amount like it's no other shoe in the store that's that's just a tank cake bring back the t-shirt kiosk well not 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 even the t-shirt kiosk. just like have a real real brand because when y'all did fair play and the other brand the uh, mason whatever his name is i like, do that more often like reach out and find people or find brands that that, that would want to be a part of the game because wait how I haven't heard of Fair Play until that was in 2K19. Like, I didn't even know it was a real brand until I searched it up after I seen it in 2K. Um, the same clothes that they had in 2K is, is real life shirts and hoodies and stuff in real life. And the price ain't that bad. So, it's a win-win situation for both, well, for all three sides. 2K, the brand, and the people playing, playing 2K. It's real life clothes in the game. Cause most of the clothes they got in swag ain't nobody really wearing that in real life so add brands to the game nba live they got baby and pink dolphin so i mean i think they got undefeated too they put undefeated in bait in 2k that's all i'm wearing i'm just i'm just being honest but um if you're not gonna bring back the t-shirt kiosk because y'all because y'all might have got sued by these companies just reach out to those same companies and see if they put some stuff in the game. Like, they'll, they'll be making money. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike the video if you disliked it. Comment down below if you agree or disagree with anything I said. Comment down below if you want to add anything or you want to take anything out of 2K. Comment down below make 2K great again. I mean, I don't, I don't know. If you're still watching now, I applaud you. If you haven't subscribed yet, you might as well go ahead and do it. Share the video, tell a friend, tell another friend, tell another friend to subscribe. We on the road to 1K. It's your boy, Bath Superstar, signing out. Y'all be breezy, man. All right.